Hi everyone, welcome to our Marine Knowledge Channel. This is your Sailor Basha, another technical video. And this video is related to compressors. So I would like to show some maintenance part for the compressor. Like uh, renewal of uh, high pressure pipes in compressor. Renewal of uh, lube oil filter in compressor. And all those things specifically I would try to explain you practically. So all the time I say whenever you are working on a compressor you follow the safety procedures switch off the power do not start risk assessment permit if any close outlet valve close the inlet outlet cooling water all those things all those basic safety things you have to follow and when you are doing any kind of uh, maintenance in compressor always read the manual that is the bible for any job which you're going to do even it is main engine generator whatever just read the manual that will give you a very good uh, idea because you might have worked in same compressor but a small changes the maker must have given that will be highlighted only in manual so we'll go inside the video This is the Sperry compressor where we are going to do some maintenance on this. So this compressor is a very user friendly compressor. So before starting any maintenance, do your risk assessment, do your safety things, switch off the power, just hang the do not start board, close the inlet outlet valve of cooling water close the outlet air outlet valve and drain the line water and these are all the safety things that you need to follow before you start any kind of maintenance work in compressor not only spare in any type of water cooled compressor these are all the safety things that you need to do after carrying out all the safety things you have to take out remove the cover this is a soundproof cover like uh, not a soundproof it's uh, just a cover and there is an allen bolt you just need to remove the allen bolt uh, of the cover and then you have to take it out just again a short uh, thing about what are all the safety that we had carried out of do not start all those things valve is closed air valve is closed cooling water is closed so everything so here in this video we are going to change a high pressure valve high pressure pipe for the compressor the reason why we are changing is the high pressure pipe is got damaged and some cold ripper had been carried out you can see some patches has been done so this is the reason why we are removing the old pipe and refit with a new one so basically what we need to do is you first need to make sure you are having the right spare parts so after you make sure how you make sure just uh, you just check with the spare part number if that is okay then you can start opening the pipe use proper tools so that you don't damage the thread of high pressure pipe sometimes what happens is this kind of fitting if it is wrongly handled it may damage the thread so this is the the other one is an old one this is a new one you can see this is having some defect so we are changing it so another pipe that pipe also we are going to change again the same thing use proper tools to remove it so in this pipe for removing it we need to remove the small uh, 
connections both the connection has to be removed and it is already removed taken out and it's a old one compare it with the new one it's already compared anyway but still just uh, for a for our sake make sure we are having the right one so put back some teflon on all the threads after putting back the teflon then it's time to put back the new hoses these hoses are uh, very high pressure handling so after fitting back all the teflon sealing on the thread seal on the thread you can fit back the new pipes new hose sorry we remove the older seal okay now after uh, we are done with this we can start fitting what are all the things that you need to keep it in mind when we are doing the changes main thing is you always make sure you are not damaging the thread while installation or removing that is the main thing that you need to keep it in mind and you have to use proper opening too try to avoid using adjustable spanners so when you feel there is any over tightening over strengthening you just wait and either you ask for a help because sometimes what happens is if you tight 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 that means you are damaging your thread so that is an indication so all these things are very important that you have to keep it in mind while you are renewing the high pressure pipe so now the high pressure pipe joins are prepared and this is a new one see after that you have to fit it in place and it is kept just threaded so okay and then the other part other side also fit it and tighten it tighten it properly as i said it should go easily you should not feel any tightness so once you completely tighten it how you know how you what are all the things that will show the hose is completely tightened that means if it is not fully tightened you can able to move you can able to shake it but if it is completely tightened it don't move from place the hose is completely tightened so another thing when you are using this kind of uh, uh, doing this kind of job make sure your fingers are in correct shape because what happens is sometime when you are tightening it if you keep the hand in wrong position the spanner which you are having may hit your other finger and it may re register finger injury okay that's all so both the hoses has been renewed and uh, very simple job only just a few things to keep it in mind because if those things are not kept in mind and not tightened properly when running there are chances for the pipe hose to blast means blast in the sense it may come out at a high pressure which may cause injury so i believe uh, after watching this uh, video you must have got some idea about how to do maintenance in spherry compressor like how to do the renewal of high pressure hose thank you all thanks for watching